Intel is killing off the Pentium G4560 because it's eating into the Core i3 lineup. That's been the rumor that's been swelling about on the internet lately. We've seen it on various article postings, various comment sections, various threads throughout different internet forums. And luckily, the other day, I had Intel on the line and I had to ask them some questions about some things. And I took it as an opportunity to ask them about this proposed rumor. Now, what this has led, what led to this rumor and my and Intel's assumption, the recent price hike in the Pentium G4560. The G4560 is has a retail customer price of 64 US dollars. Unfortunately, it, I don't think it ever actually hit that point. Even upon release, whenever I bought ours for the site, it was about 75 bucks, which was $11 over that price, which is no big deal. Sometimes chips like that, especially trying to get them early, is it going to lead you to spending more. But here it is months after the release. Long time. I mean, it's been out for quite some time. And on Amazon, you can find it for $82. Now that is a almost a 30% increase in pricing and that led a lot of people thinking oh my goodness there's a, an availability issue they're obviously cutting back on production because why well to be quite honest the Pentium G4560 is a more attractive option over the Core i3 especially for budget focused gamers now you do use a, a few things you lose these from the Core i3 like this smart cache Optane support uh, you get a weaker iGPU and a few hundred megahertz none of which are really going to make a huge difference for these gamers so they really don't care why wouldn't you spend half to get similar performance or actually probably almost identical performance but the thing of the matter is it appears that a lot of th this cpu has been fairly popular with cryptocurrency miners who have been building rigs for cryptocurrency mining and just like the reason why a lot of these people would rather buy a gaming graphics card to mine with rather than a mining specific one is say for if it crashes or they pull out of the market there's a much bigger secondhand market for gaming graphics cards than there is for cards that are made for mining that say are missing you know video out ports uh, maybe only have one and same thing for the CPUs while the Celeron will do the same thing so you can get away with using a Celeron to set up a rig if you have to offload it you're gonna have a much harder time selling a straight-up dual-core Celeron processor on the used market even if it's cheaper uh, to buy up front than the Pentium so the Pentium still has a life after mining so to say I mean especially for the CPUs they don't really do anything while you're mining they sit there and just operate the OS but uh, that, that's it um, Intel did make this make the statement they, they have no plans to change production for the Pentium G4560 so it's not going anywhere it's still in production and it's still maintaining production uh, quantities the demand for it however seems to be the, where the big change is and honestly I think you know the pricing side of it that is based on that demand and the supply and it's an algorithm that these sites use. So Amazon, Newegg, and others use an algorithm. It's not a mischievous person sitting behind the computer trying to, you know, rubbing his hands together, trying to figure out how much money he can squeeze out of people. And that's basically what's going on. And we just wanted to bring that to you guys in case there was some confusion because it can lead to some panic buys, panic sales, people trying to snap them all up, thinking they're not going to be around anymore so that they can make a huge uh, profit in the end. But... It, it is what it is, guys. Uh, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. If you found this interesting or informative or entertaining whatsoever, feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you all in the next video.